In question 3, we have to use the laws of exponents to simplify all of these exponential expressions. So for example, in the first one, we have a product of exponential terms. In the second one, we have an exponential term raised to another power. In the third one, we have a quotient of exponential terms. And the fourth one is also a product of exponential terms. So let me quickly write out the laws of exponents that we will use to simplify these terms. So a to the power p into a to the power q is a to the power p plus q. So the powers add when you multiply two exponential terms with the same base. And when you divide two exponential terms with the same base, so a to the power p divided by a to the power q, this will be a to the power p minus q. And when you raise an exponential term to another power, so a to the power p raised to the power q, in this case, the exponents will multiply. So we'll get a to the power p times q. And finally, when you multiply two exponential terms with the same powers, so a to the power p into b to the power p, in this case, you can write this as a b uh, times p. So the bases multiply and the power can be taken as common. Okay, so now let's start with the first part. So in the first part, we have to calculate 2 to the power 2 by 3 times 2 to the power 1 by 5. So in this case, the base is common. So the exponents will add. So we can write this as 2 to the power 2 by 3 plus 1 by 5. Now what is 2 by 3 plus 1 by 5? Well, take an LCM of 15 and we will get uh, the, the 2 here will become 10 and the 1 will become 3. So 2 to the power uh, this value and 10 plus 3 by 15 is 13 by 15. So this is 2 to the power 13 by 15. This is the answer to the first part. This is the value of the first expression. Now let's go to the second part. Okay, so this was the first part. So the second part is 1 by 3 cube to the power 7. Now I can write 1 by 3 cube as 3 to the power minus 3 because 3 to the power minus 3 is 1 by 3 to the power 3. So 3 to the power minus 3 raised to the power 7. And in this case, the exponents will multiply. So I will get 3 to the power minus 3 times 7 or 3 to the power minus 21. Now I can write this as 1 by 3 to the power 21 if I want my exponent to be positive. So this is the value of the second term. Now let's go to the third part. In the third part, the expression is 11 to the power half by 11 to the power 1 by 4. So because ex the exponential terms with the same base are getting divided, the exponents will subtract in this case and I will get 11 to the power half minus 1 by 4. Now half minus 1 by 4 is 1 by 4. So the value of this is 11 to the power 1 by 4. So this is the value of the third expression. Finally, let's do the fourth part. In the fourth part, we have 7 to the power half times 8 to the power half. So in this case, the exponents are the same. The bases are different. So we can multiply the bases and take the exponent as common. So 7 into 8 times half. So this is how I can write this term. Basically, I'm using this fourth law that I've written here. So 7 times 8 is 56. So this is 56 to the power half. So this is the value of uh, the simplified expression for the fourth part. And with that, all the four parts of this question are completed. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.